Hello there. Today we're gonna talk about a very important topic that is cell ultrastructure. As we all know, cell is its functional and building unit in all living organisms. These cells are characterized by their ability to grow and produce and also respond to external stimuli and perform the different metabolic processes. Cell parts The cell is basically made up of a protoplasmic mass surrounded by the cell membrane. The protoplasm is differentiated into a nucleus and cytoplasm. Cytoplasm contains a group of cellular structures called cell organelles. These are plant cell components and the most important component in this plant cell is the nucleus and the Golgi body or Golgi apparatus as you see also the cytoplasm and mitochondrion vacuole and chloroplast as we see here also the ribosomes okay these are the animal cell components as in human cells this is the central Golgi body nuclear envelope here this, uh, this is a nucleus cytoplasm, lysosome, mitochondrion, ribosomes, plasma membrane, and rough endoplasmic reticulum. First, we're gonna talk about cell wall. Cells of plants, algae, fungi, and some bacteria are surrounded by a cell wall besides the cell membrane. This wall provides the cells with support and the protection, as we know. Cell wall is characterized with being petted. It is mainly composed of cellulose fibers. Therefore, this wall allows the passage of water, dissolved and dissolved substances through it easily to provide nutrition for the plant. Secondly, we will talk about cell membrane or plasma membrane as we know it's a thin membrane covering the cell and separates its components and surrounding medium this membrane performs a basic role in organizing the passage of substances to and from the cell besides it prevents the spreading of cytoplasm outside the cell Cell membrane is composed of two layers of phospholipid molecules, which their hydrophilic heads, which dissolve easily in water, meet the water medium in and out the cell, while their hydrophobic tails, which do not dissolve in water, are present inside the membrane, as we see here in this figure. As we see here, those are the two phospholipid molecules. These are the hydrophilic heads, and the tails are hydrophobic. As we see, these are in and out, and those inside. Blocules of proteins are embedded between blocules of these two layers. Some of these protein blocules work as cell identification sites to different substances, such as nutrients and hormones. Those proteins like this, which we, we have seen, proteins embedded in the membrane, this and this.
so they work as cell identification sites to different substances such as nutrients and hormones for the cell to identify them while some others work as gates to pass the substances to and from the cell peripheral proteins so these proteins work as gates to transport uh, molecules out and inside the cell due to the phospholipid forming the cell membrane or a fluid substance the membrane in turn is considered a fluid structure similar to the oil floating on water surface because we know if we pour some oil in a cup of water oil floats on the surface of this water because it doesn't doesn't dissolve in water the linkage of phospholipids molecules with molecules of cholesterol contributes maintaining the cell membrane cohesive and intact and now we have finished our first part of our lesson you can find the two other parts of this lesson on nafham.com and of course goodbye for now